Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to talk a little bit about advanced uh, import for your accessories in Crazy Talk 8.1. So we have a basic uh, accessories import tutorial, but this one we're going to explore a little bit more about getting custom accessories uh, from Google Warehouse, as well as uh, importing accessories that have spring effects that may not be initially optimized, uh, initialized when they first import into Crazy Talk 8.1. So first of all, let's get started by talking about how to create a custom accessory and import it into Crazy Talk 8.1 via iClone. All right. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go over here to Google 3D Warehouse. So you can see the character that we have in Crazy Talk 8 has this nice cowboy hat. Now this cowboy hat, surprisingly, is actually from uh, um, Google 3D Warehouse. So let's go ahead back into the 3D Warehouse uh, tab here, and I'm going to search for cowboy hat. All right. And this is where you can get lots of free uh, stuff, uh, models, uh, accessories, and everything like that for your iClone or Crazy Talk 8 characters. I'm going to go here to sort by popularity, and I found this nice white uh, Stetson cowboy hat there. So I'm just going to click on that, and you can preview it if you want to, take a look at it. And uh, there's a nice uh, glimpse of what the hat will look like when it's finally applied to our character, minus all those black lines there. So I'm just going to go ahead and download it. I'm going to download the SketchUp 2015 model. Okay. And that's going to just download to my download folder. So what I want to do here is show that in my folder. And you can see I have this cowboyhat.skp, which is actually a Google SketchUp file. So I'm going to click and drag this file. You can also open it as well. Um, but I'm going to click and drag it. It's easier into uh, 3D Exchange 6 right here. Okay. So in 3D Exchange 6, you can see it looks a little bit different. And that's because the uh, the meshes aren't uh, melded properly. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean in just a sec here. What you want to do is select all your mesh items over here, uh, shift and uh, click uh, to get all of them selected. And then over here, you want to go to the section for normal. And then you want to go to auto smooth, but first you want to select weld vertex. Now this gets a little bit complicated, but for intent, all our intents and purposes here, we're just going to go ahead and select auto smooth at a value of 45. And what that's going to do is that's going to smooth everything out. Generally, this works for most cases. So that's really all you have to do. So now we have this smooth cowboy hat right here, and I'm going to go ahead and export this to an I iClone prop. Okay, now to do that, I can just go up here to iClone and export. And it's going to bring up the iClone prop content type naturally, and we're going to just call it cowboy hat. And I can just save it to my desktop. I can save it to whatever I want, really. I'm just going to save it to my desktop for now. And go ahead and press OK. And it's been successfully exported, and we can close out of uh, 3D Exchange right now. And we can also close down 3D Warehouse. And I'm going to go back to my uh, desktop here. And you can see we have this cowboyhat.iprop right here, iClone prop file. So what I want to do is in iClone, you can see I already have our character Ramon already set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in that prop. And uh, to do that, I just go to my desktop again. And I'm going to click and drag it into my iClone uh, folder or iClone uh, window there. There we go. You can just place it anywhere. Now what I want to do is I want to position it properly on our character. So I'm going to press the W hotkey to bring up my movement gizmo and I'm going to bring it to the top all the way to the top of his head there and you can see it's a little bit off to the side so you can just move it over here and it needs to be towards the front as well. Now one thing you want to do for most props as well is you want to make sure that your pivot point is centered exactly in the middle. If I press the G hotkey and get an overhead view here you can see our pivot point is not directly in the middle. It's kind of like over to the side a little bit. So what I want to do is just go over here to my pivot points and select quick set middle. That, that should work. And just select the middle uh, point right there. Uh, the reason we do this is because when you want to, when you scale it, uh, if you want to scale your hat, uh, you want to scale it from the middle. Otherwise it might scale uh, in a strange, uh, skewed manner. Okay, so we have it, uh, the pivot point in the middle right now. What I want to do now is just press the R hotkey. We're going to scale it a little bit larger. Something like that looks fine. And we can place this hat down on the ground, or down on his head rather, not on the ground. Uh, somewhere like this. Just going to make sure there's no breakage. And if there is breakage, again, we can use the R hotkey and just kind of scale it out a little bit on the side there as well. And you can see there's some uh, light shining through in the bottom. The way you can fix that, a little tip here for you iClone users, is just go over here to your uh, visual settings. And under shadows, just change your bias to something like uh, negative 2. And that should uh, fix it. You can also use zero in most cases as well. And you can change your shadow performance uh, and all that stuff. That goes into a whole nother bucket of worms. So we're just going to keep things the way they are right now. I think our hat is fine and dandy on his head. 
So what I want to do now is make sure that we attach it to our character. Now when you attach a prop to your character, that means it's, you can assign it as an accessory. Okay. So to attach this hat to the character, I'm going to go over here to attach to, pick parent, and select this dude's head, uh, Ramon's head. Okay. You can see CC base head is selected. Now what I want to do is I want to save this as an accessory. And that's all we have to really do until we can go to the uh, scene, uh, rather the content manager right here, and then go to our custom tab with avatar selected, go under accessories, and you can see I already have it saved here, but I'll save it again. Just press the uh, plus hotkey, and that'll save my cowboy hat as a, uh, we'll call it cowboy hat two. All right, so there's our cowboy hat two. So then what you want to do is in, um, in uh, Crazy Talk 8, rather. Let's go ahead and select our character. And let's just bring in the Ramon from our Stylized Character Morphs uh, pack here. Let's bring him into Crazy Talk 8. And we're going to replace the more suave, handsome-looking cowboy Ramon we have here. All right, so now he's all plain again. And let's go into iClone and to our custom tab right here under Accessories. And let's bring in that cowboy hat, too. Now that's going to apply to the exact same spot on our character's head because we've already defined that, that space in iClone and it's going to retain that accessory placement data. So I'm going to select the C section here uh, for the middle of the head. We can probably move it down a little bit if we want. Um, you can see if we get breakage and we can scale it up on the uh, X axis. We just had a little wider there and uh, you know so on and so forth. We can also rotate it slightly back on the X axis if we want and then we can move it down. Uh, you know, we just don't want it to be too high on his uh, on his head there. Otherwise, it'll look a little bit strange. All right, and again, we can uh, use the up, the down, looking good. Left and right are looking fine. All right, so we have our uh, cowboy Ramon here. And let's go ahead and press apply. Now, with the uh, cowboy hat, you can change the materials and everything like that uh, by going up to create uh, again material settings, and if you want to. Uh, select the different material colors. Um, for example, this one is the white section of the hat. You can increase the specular there. I believe this one is the black section. Oh wait, so this is the black section probably. Yeah, barely noticeable, but uh, you can kind of see it right there if we really pump it up there. All right, and then you can go on with that. And if you go to create and accessory settings, you can also adjust the colors a little bit as well. So if I select again those different color materials, you can rename these if you want in 3D Exchange, but I'm not really bothering here. Uh, well, you want to make sure that you have a diffuse map in there as well. If you double click your diffuse channel, I have my texture channels uh, conveniently opened up here. And then I can load in something like a fabric. I think I have a couple of fabric textures here, like this one right here, for example. And we selected the band there, which is not what we wanted. Let's do the same thing for the uh, correct section here. Uh, fabric right here. And again, it can be whatever color you want it to be. Uh, we can brighten this one up a little bit. You can change the uh, hue to uh, a different color as well and to take away the saturation. And uh, this one seems to have a lot, a little bit more reflectivity. But uh, let's just take that brightness all the way up because uh, I like the, the white style right there. All right, so let's just go ahead and keep that cowboy hat. And then if you want to save this as an accessory in Crazy Talk, just go over here to your actor elements and to custom tab right here. And we'll save it as an accessory. And just go ahead and press plus. And there we can save it as a cowboy hat, which I already have saved previously. So I'll just call it cowboy two. There you go. All right. Now let's take a look at one different scenario. And this is where you may import uh, props or accessories that have spring effects, but they may not apply directly. They may not translate um, or be active in Crazy Talk 8.1. And I'll show you a good example here. So. With uh, Ramon selected again in uh, iClone, I'm going to go to uh, my template folder and we're going to open up the accessories this time. Now under accessories, I'm going to go into ToonMaker 2 and we're going to load in a simple beard here. So we have some beards. Now notice that a lot of these have a little spring icon in the bottom left there and that indicates that they are spring enabled. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag this kernel uh, mustache onto my uh, dude here. You can see it's a very thick looking mustache. So let's just place it. Um, it's going to be a challenge because Ramon has a fairly thin lip here. We're going to scale that quite a bit, quite a bit down. Just so we can fit it nice and tightly there under his nose. All right. And we'll use the R hotkey, R scale a little bit more. Place it down here. There you go. 
I think that looks a good positioning right there. Maybe a little bit less on this side. All right, so there we go. Now we have this nice kernel mustache under his nose. Okay, so that's applied as an accessory. Now, if I select my character and I use Direct Puppet, just to kind of show the spring effects here, select my head and primary rotation, if I press space, you can see, although it said spring effects, where are the spring effects? The mustache isn't really bouncing around. So what we can do is we can just uh, make sure we have the mustache selected by going to our scene manager here. And uh, we need to bring this over here. And you can see there's our kernel uh, mustache. Let's go into it. Uh, if we have the kernel mustache, the top level selected, and we go to the bottom, there's no option here for us to activate the spring effects because there's a dummy inside of this and there's also a scale dummy as well. So the actual beard itself, the actual mustache itself is the last item on this hierarchy. Okay, and then you can see that activate panel becomes activated. Okay, so let's go ahead and select on here. And we need to select dummy, uh, select spring, we can just use dummy 01. And you can modify the values here, mass, strength, and uh, bounciness if you want. But for our intents and purposes, let's just go ahead and test this one out. So direct puppet again, just use the same procedure. There you can see the mustache is kind of bouncing around, bouncing about, and that's the result that we want. Okay, so if you do not activate the uh, spring effects in iClone, you will not be able to translate those spring effects into Crazy Talk 8. So you need to make sure you have that active first by going into the hierarchy there and selecting activate in the spring section. Once you've done that, uh, it'll retain that information when you save it. So let's go to our content manager here, to our custom tab, and let's save this as a mustache. Mustache, there we go. Now let's apply this mustache to Crazy Talk 8 and let's see what happens. Um, if I apply it to Crazy Talk 8 right now, you can see that basically it takes up the entire screen. Now we can apply it to the F section here, and you can see the scale is at 10. And this is because we didn't import the scale dummy. I'm just going to press 1, and you can see we have to rotate it and reposition it and everything like that. Um, we can rotate it this way. So we basically have to do everything all over again. We don't really want to do that. So make sure that when you save it, I'm going to close this down right now, make sure that when you save it in iClone, um, that you go to uh, under the scene manager here. You don't have the beard selected. Make sure you have the top item selected, this kernel uh, item selected, okay? Because you want to have all that dummy information there as well to re retain the scaling and everything like that. So with that selected, let's go to content and let's save this. Um, we can just replace it. And there you can see we have this mustache. Let's go ahead and apply this one and see the difference. So when I apply this one, you'll see the mustache applies correctly. We can select the F section on the face. So now we don't have to do all that scaling and adjustment anymore. We can just go ahead and press apply. And if we want to enhance the look a little bit, we can go to create material settings and uh, you know, get a little bit of specular highlight on there. Uh, make sure we select the actual material that we want. There you go. And uh, increase that glossiness. Again, we may want to uh, go to our accessory settings and change the material a little bit as well. Go to beard. You take that brightness down. Uh, you can change the hue to, uh, you know, whatever you want. It's not going to have much hue because here's the diffuse color. It's already dark enough. Um, it's pretty much monochromatic. So uh, if you want to have a different, um, you know, more like a browner color, you can do that as well by selecting a brown diffuse map or a, a diffuse map with more texture on it as well. Okay, but for now we're just going to go ahead and work with this. And so there's our accessory mustache imported in. And it's time to test out the spring effects. So let's go into our animation tab. And let's use a voice script here. And let's use something like this, a sneaky laugh. <laughs> you can see that mustache is kind of bouncing around there, kind of vibrating. So we have this uh, sneaky cowboy. All right, so that's basically all I want to show you there. Just make sure that when you, uh, you know, save out props or rather accessories with spring effects, that you activate those spring effects. Make sure they're activated before you bring them into Crazy Talk 8. Otherwise, you won't have the uh, spring effects in uh, Crazy Talk 8 eventually. And uh, I also showed you how to take a prop, attach it to our character, and save it as an accessory, and use that in Crazy Talk 8 as well, where you can get all that free stuff from uh, 3D Warehouse there. All right, so thanks so much for watching, everyone. Hopefully you learned a lot. Uh, make sure you check out our other Crazy Talk 8.1 tutorials and our forums at forum.relusion.com, and I'll see you in the next video.